The major consideration for communicating the findings would be what you want to do with the outcomes. So for example, if you're looking to use the peer review process as a line of evidence within a promotion application, you'd want the documentation to be rather formal and to be held probably by a third party, the university for example, or maybe HR, so that they can then draw on that for your promotion application. If you're using it merely or alternatively to um, improve your own teaching, then the documentation could just be shared by you and your peer reviewer. And, and in that case, it could be far less formal, although it's probably important still to document and to build that documentation over the peer review cycle. So when you're thinking about debriefing, again, it's really important to think about what you want to come out of the peer review session. So if this is an informal chat with a colleague, then you can probably have it straight away, maybe over coffee in a cafe, maybe if there were some sensitive issues, you might want to do it in one of your offices. Um, so it very much depends on what you want to come out of the project or out of the process. If there was a particular issue that you'd ask your peer reviewer to address, it may be better to share the documentation from the peer review session, reflect on it for a day or two, and then meet to kind of debrief over that documentation. So for example, perhaps you've asked your peer reviewer to look at your use of technologies within large lectures and they identify a particular problem with the way that you use it. That might be quite confronting to do straight away in the coffee shop. So it might be better to do that in your office a day or two later once you've had time to think about it and think about possible ways to address the issues. Ownership of the documentation is absolutely critical. If you want staff to engage in peer review in a relaxed way in a way in which they feel ownership of the process in which they feel that the whole process is there for their benefit and for the benefit of their students to be able to improve their teaching they need to own that documentation now if they own it of course they should be able to share it with for example a promotions committee or maybe in their CV or a job application of course um, you probably want to seek the permission of your peer reviewer at that stage, or you could probably you could possibly do that earlier. But it's critical that if you want peer review to be looked on as a quality enhancement activity that is owned by the staff, the staff have to own the document.